Oh my god, just fried these kids. Imagine our team selling us again. I saw this teammate dead ass sitting in a corner and said going for B while I was on it. What's going on guys? It's Greg here today bringing you guys a Call of Duty Modern Warfare gameplay commentary which you guys are watching in the background. It's a 6 versus 6 gameplay uh, and it's going to be a shipment one which I end up going 79 to 10. Now the reason I am showing you guys uh, me just toying with my class and stuff like that um, before I start up the match is because I wanted to show you guys that I match made into this lobby and the reason being is I just wanted to show you guys this proof that I am not someone who reverse boost as you guys know whenever someone gets to gets uh, high scores in 6v6 and 10v10 people always say oh you're reverse boosting bro but that's not the case so I really just wanted to show you guys uh, that and then I'm also going to show you guys all of my recent games on the screen right now so you guys can see um, you know just how I've been performing since I returned to 6v6 after playing ground war for pretty much like three months now I don't know something like that uh, so you guys will see you know maybe the scores aren't the best but uh, they'll be improved I'll definitely be improving upon them and uh, I'll give you guys some tips and tricks here so I showed you guys uh, me toying around my classes in the beginning um, because I wanted to show you guys you know that whenever I play a 6 vs 6 game uh, or even 10v10 I always switch up my classes before the game starts depending on the map the mode you know what we're doing and me and my friend we're gonna do just like some troll strats um, just because we like to kind of fuck around when we play and we we're gonna do uh, basically frangible wounding as one of our weapon perks so that way we we're just gonna be trolling the enemy team why they can regen health faster and stuff like if one of us died you know they're gonna be sitting there uh, shipment though is just one of those maps where it's just super confusing with the spawns and honestly since there's no factions in this game and what I mean by factions is whenever you know the enemies would have a distinct uh, look like uniform instead there's operators in this game which everybody has their own unique look it can be difficult to remember which operators on which side and that will overall um, you know could mess with you and hey who's an enemy who's a teammate I really wish they would just bring back factions I don't really care for the whole operator thing as well as uh, you know character customization because you're barely even looking at your character in game all I care about really is like weapon customization I don't know if you guys are the same way I really wish factions would just come back but anyways in this gameplay I'm using point man and the reason I'm using point man is because we're on shipment now if you don't know whenever you're near a flag uh, whenever you're using point man you get about 150 score per kill so also having the UAV on is very beneficial for uh, earning some extra kill streaks and stuff like that because you're gonna get 10 points per assist and even like you, as you guys can see I'm getting capture assists all this kind of stuff now whenever I'm near a flag or I'm defending a flag or even uh, killing people off of the flag you guys will see that I'm basically getting extra score per kill so since uh, shipment is such a small map I feel that it is way more beneficial for me to run point man because I'll be near objectives basically you know a pretty decent amount of time as you guys can see right here 300 points per kill so basically that was two for the price of three or three for the price of two I should say um, and overall it's just it's awesome run point man if you play shipment uh, or even like I don't really know if it'd be as good for shoot house because there's a lot more room on shoot house. You know, B flags in the middle of the map. There's more distinctive lanes, stuff like that. But definitely for this map, maybe even Rust, uh, it's a pretty decent idea to use. But anyways, you guys are gonna see right here. I call up this chopper. Well, I want to call up this chopper gunner, but turns out a teammate ended up calling up a chopper gunner. Uh, and one of the things as well is whenever you use point man on this map, um, basically what will happen is let's say you get a chopper gunner and a VTOL. Uh, your chopper gunner can help you earn your next chopper gunner because you'll be getting about 25 points per kill, even 25 points per assist. And on this map especially, uh, you're going to be getting a lot of assists because of spawn protection. So on top of the kills you're getting and all the assists, and you're probably not going to be shot down just because uh, it's such a small map. Everyone's being killed basically as soon as they're spawning in and stuff. So I would definitely recommend giving that a look into, you know, trying to find the safest spot possible whenever you call in your chopper gunner or something you'll see where I go on this map to call it up and uh, I end up 
I'm, I'm able to earn basically another chopper inside of my chopper. So right here, we're going to go ahead and call in the chopper gunner. As you guys can see, I'm in the, one of the crates. I'm behind this uh, little barrel. And the reason I went behind that is I'd be harder to see if someone just quick peeked the... Uh, the container and you guys will see that that will happen in this gameplay there will be people that from time to time take a look in there see if anyone spawn in there but they don't notice me because I'm laying down and I'm in my chopper so as you can see right here I'm picking up a lot of kills and uh, overall it's gonna help go for that next one anyways for the last part of this commentary I really want to talk about mentality and you guys saw from earlier whenever I posted my uh, recent games on the screen is I feel a lot of people have the wrong mentality whenever they come into 6v6 and 10v10. So what I mean by this is back whenever the game first launched, I remember there was a Reddit post and it was all about skill-based matchmaking and people were talking about, you know, what's the point of improving at the game if whenever you improve, you have a good game, then all of a sudden the game's just going to give you a really hard lobby, you're going to get your ass kicked, and you're going to be sent back down into a lower skill bracket. And, you know, if you want to have that mentality, that's fine and all, but you can actually get more consistent and you know just doing better than the hard lobbies the game gives you um, and then that's how you'll see people like Ears uh, he's a 10v10 player he gets a lot of nukes in 10v10 he's able to win over a lot of lobbies and stuff and get a lot of nukes that way um, and honestly so if you ask me for my opinion on why is it important to still care and try to improve regardless you know of the skill matching in the game is just this skill matching isn't super strict, right? So if you look at my games, and you'll see that there were some times where I had like a two, a one and a half, maybe a little bit higher KDR. Those are the real competitive games where basically I'm playing the objective uh, pretty heavy, and there's not really a lot of streaking going on. It's a lot more just everyone's fighting over the objectives, and those kind of games are actually pretty fun whenever your team is in complete buns. <laughs> but those games are kind of fun, and I do enjoy those games. Um, and you know, those are probably the toughest they get because there's other, like, top 1% players in the lobby, you know, they're trying to, um, they're trying to do their thing, you're trying to do your thing, and, you know, it, it happens, but, um, that's about the worst it's gonna get, and after you have those games, like, let's say I have a 4.84 KD overall, right, generally, if I dip below my average KDR, the game seems to loosen up the matchmaking anyways, so, that's just something I've noticed, like, if, if I get, like, a 2 KD, or a 3KD, the lobby is going to be way easier than if I got like 10KD the past couple games, right? So whenever I dip below my average KDR, that's whenever the matchmaking seems to loosen up a little bit. I don't really know how skill-based matchmaking works a lot of the time, but what I'm trying to say here, guys, is skill-based matchmaking is a mentality thing. You know, if you just... It, it just really comes down to the way you look at it and honestly I don't really think it's as strong as a lot of people make it out to be um, I think you're always going to be playing against people that are aware of what's going on you're, you're never really going to be playing against people that are necessarily just terrible at the game or brand new at the game which is fine for me because I don't really think it'd be fair if I'm playing against people that just picked up the game yesterday because I've been playing COD for over 13 years and you know I understand the whole idea of skill-based matchmaking. I still think it should be loosened up a little bit more, even further, but yeah, I, I do understand why it's in the game, and I don't really like to complain about it. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to give you guys that. The whole mentality thing is you're not going to be streaking up every single game. You're not going to be dropping nukes every single game. You're not going to be even getting your highest streak every single game, because the matches are going to be a lot more competitive. If you want to try to get high streaks every single game, that's what Ground Wars for, man. That's what That is exactly what it's for, but Whenever you come into these modes of 6v6 and 10v10, you got to have a different mentality than what you're playing Ground War, right? So, that's why a lot of the times I'm not even going for nukes, I'll just be running Chopper and stuff like that, and it's just because, honestly, uh, if the nuke happens, it happens. If not, I'll just go for a high KD, and uh, I'll be happy with that. So, anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplay, and hopefully, you know, if some of you guys were those people that um, has just been really or just really stressed out about skill-based matchmaking this year, just chill, man. It's all good. It's just a game at the end of the day. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.